Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Happy Sunday. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Today's video, we're going to be looking at some misstamped 999, well 925 potentially, silver. Uh, a customer got in touch and asked me if I would melt down some of his scrap stuff that he'd bought off eBay and make something like my ripple pieces for him. I'm more than happy to do that, so if you guys have got any scrap silver, 999 or 925 or anything that you'd like me to have a go at, then please do get in touch. Uh, but this guy, he sent me everything through. These are the two pieces that he sent, and when I got hold of them and packaged them, I kind of looked at them and I thought, hmm, I don't think these are 999 silver. Now, I'm not a silversmith, I'm not an expert, but at the same time, I've been working with 999 silver for quite a while now, and I can tell kind of straight away when a 925 or lower piece comes in. Uh, you can just see that the kind of way that the light reflects off this, it's just a lot more pure, it's a lot more clean. Um, these have oxidizations on them, different colors, and it just doesn't look right. The, the way that it's kind of settled in the mold, it's just not the same. So I contacted the uh, the customer and just let him know that his pieces were not 999 like he thought. Uh, in fact, you can see that the whoever made these stamped them with 999. Um, so they've misstamped them and missold them through eBay. Now the seller obviously was very dis well, sorry, the buyer was very disappointed, um, and he's asked me to make this specific gravity test video to help him get his money back through eBay. Now, regardless of me making this video, I'm pretty confident, in fact, I'm 100% confident that this guy will get his money back. Uh, he's been missold this stuff. It was advertised as 999 silver, stamped as 999 silver, and it's clearly not. So even with the eBay money back guarantee, I'm 100% sure you'll get your money back. Um, but it doesn't hurt to have this extra kind of proof in the pocket to uh, basically show the seller who is being very adamant that this is 999 silver. He's refusing to back down. So hopefully this will convince everybody involved that it is in fact not 999. So I'm going to do a specific gravity test on all of these pieces. I'm going to do one on my 999 silver to show you what 999 readings should be and then also on the 925. I think it's 925. We're, we're going to find out but I think it's 925 silver. Uh, most likely made using scrap, old forks, jewellery, unmarked jewellery, that kind of thing. So, a specific gravity test is uh, basically a way of measuring the density of an item. So all different metals have different densities, obviously gold is very dense, silver is very dense, it's much more dense than say copper, aluminium, those kind of things. And what you're doing is by measuring the volume of an item in water and then knowing its mass, you can work out the density of the metal. Silver, pure silver, so 999 or 49 silver has a density of 10.4 to 10.6. Uh, sterling silver, which is made using a copper alloy, has a density of anywhere between 10.2 and 10.3. And 900 silver, it's going to depend on what the alloy is made out of, but you probably expect a reading of anywhere between 10, point, uh, well, 10 and 10.2. So, now, before I just do the specific gravity tests, I will just give one huge tip, and that is to get yourself one of these little neodymium earth magnets. Um, this is a tiny little magnet. It's I think it was one pound for a pack of ten off eBay, and this will tell you straight away whether something has any silver in it or not. If it slides off a coin or item really quickly like that, it's most likely not got any silver in it at all. So when I got these, I did the magnet test on them, and as you can see, it slides off nice and slowly. So in my opinion, there's definitely silver in here. It's just been mismarked as 999 when it perhaps isn't. So definitely get your hands on one of these tiny little magnets. That is a must. So, the specific gravity test, what you're going to need to do that is you're going to need some scales. These are Smartway branded scales, you can get any kind of scales really, but preferably ones which have a high degree of accuracy. These have an accuracy down to 0 0.01 of a gram, so you can see here 57.98, really accurate piece, uh, really accurate way of weighing pieces. You're going to need some water to suspend your silver in. I use a little half cut up Coke bottle, other brands are available. Um, and you're also going to need something to suspend your silver in as well. I use dental floss and tie it around the piece. Um, it just is a really easy thing for me to use. It's around the house and uh, it's light. It's not going to affect the measurements or the weights of the items too much. Um, but if you use string or something like that, just make sure you use really thin twine or um, fishing line or something like that so it doesn't affect the results too much. So, what you're going to do first on your specific gravity test is you're going to take your piece. Now, I've pre-tied all the dental floss because it's a nightmare to tie it, certainly on camera, but preferably weigh it without the, uh, the string or dental floss on it. 
So record that, we've got 57.98 grams, um, and then you're going to zero the scales with the water on them, and then you're going to suspend that piece of silver in the water. Now, what you want to be careful is, is to get the silver under the surface of the water, but also making sure it doesn't touch any of the sides, or making sure your hand doesn't touch the sides of the cup. And then you're going to measure the weight of this item in the water. So here we're getting various readings, and that's because it's moving around. So you could rig up some kind of pulley system, or a, um, you know, basically something to hold it steady. Um, but just take a kind of rough average. You're not necessarily getting an exact result, 100% accurate result here. So it's kind of about 5.55. So that's the number I'm going to use. So once you've done that and take it out, you might notice that the scales are uh, not zeroed. That's because there was some water left on the silver when you took it out. So what you're going to do is you're then going to divide the original weight of the item, so this was 57.98 grams, and you're going to divide back that by the weight of the item in the water, and that was 5.5. And here we have 10.54. And that, oh sorry, actually it was 10.55, wasn't it? 10.44. Either way, that is a fantastic result. That is well within the bracket of 10.4 to 10.6. And that says to me that that piece of silver is 999 silver. Now, I kind of knew that already. It came from a reputable dealer and it was um, poured by me. So I kind of knew what it was when I was pouring it. Um, but 10.4 is a great result. That shows exactly the right result needed. So the next item we're going to do, um, we're going to test this hexagon. So again, the first thing we want to do is weigh it. So once the scales are zeroed, we're going to weigh it, and that is 82.92 grams. So 82.92. And then we're going to weigh this in the water. So we're going to get the water on there, and we're going to zero the scales. And then we're going to suspend it in again. And not touching the sides, not touching with my hands, and... We're kind of hovering around, it's going to move around a little bit. I'm going to use 8.1 because that seems to be a roughly around the average number that we're seeing there. So we're going to divide 82.92 by 8.1 and that gives us 10.23. So you can see there, that's different to the 10.44 reading that we got from the first one. So that says to me, right off the bat, this is not 999 silver. Um, now it's sitting well within the bracket for 925 silver, so I'm pretty confident that that piece there is 925 silver. So now all that's left to do is just weigh the last piece, and um, again we're going to zero the scales, and we're going to take this pirate head round, and that is weighing in at 89.84. And then we're going to have the scales zeroed again. And we're going to weigh this in the water. Now this piece is a slightly odd shape. I'm hoping this will give the right reading. But sometimes when you've got some grooves, dents, holes like the eyes on this, the water might not get in all the crevices and give you a quite an accurate reading. I think this is around the 8.9. So if we use 8.9, it's flashing a bit into the 8.8s as well. So if we use 8.9 on that, so if we take the calculator and we go 89.84 grams and we divide that by 8.9, we're getting a reading of 10.09. Now that's interesting because that's very different to the 10.23 that we got for the hexagon. Again, we can say with certainty that this is not 999 silver. That we can say with certainty. Now whether it's 925 silver, now we've got questions even as well. Now it could be, as I said, that the, the fact that they've got little eye sockets here, the water hasn't maybe got into everything, and we haven't got a 100% accurate reading. Maybe, I'm not sure, I think personally this is not even 925 silver. So we have one which 90% confident is 9, uh, 925 silver, and one which is probably not even that. So that's how I've done these tests on there. So if I had bought these, these would be most certainly going back to the seller. And if he was playing silly buggers, then we would be getting the eBay money back guarantee. But I would also just say to him, I've done the tests and I'm not convinced that they are real. 
So let me know your thoughts guys, let me know if you've had some similar experiences with any fake silver, how you test your silver would be really helpful as well. Uh, it's always nice to know your thoughts on the subject. Again, I'm not an expert in this, I'm not a professional silver tester, this is just me doing what I do for my silver when I get hold of it. Um, but this is clearly not 999 silver as it is supposedly marked here. So hopefully the guy who bought these off eBay will get his money back. I'm hoping he will. Um, just I'll give an update in a couple of weeks once I know the full result, but uh, hopefully he'll just get his money back. So if you like this video, please put a thumbs up on it. It really helps to share it around. I think it's a good video to share around as well with the community. I get often a lot of questions about people buying stuff off eBay. How do you know it's real or not? And I don't want people to run away from here and be really scared that eBay silver is all fake. Because it's not, and there are lots of really good buys that you can get through eBay. But you do need to be careful and you do need to test everything that you buy. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe. I've got some cool videos planned for next week whilst, away, whilst I'm away on holiday. They're already uploaded and ready to set to go, so they'll still be regular viewing whilst I'm away. But otherwise, I just want to say a massive thank you for watching. And please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.